Hey everyone, Leo with The Dreaming Tree and welcome to another quick tip video. So today I wanna to talk about messy workspaces. Supposedly they say that if you have a messy one, you are considered a genius or you're super creative and I don't buy it. Okay, fine, maybe you're one of the few people that thrives in chaos. I'm not one of them. I like to have a nice clean area when I work and this also applies to my computer. And plus there's tons of statistics out there suggesting that companies and probably people too uh, lose time and money because they can't find objects or they can't find things on their computer. Being able to find what you need not only saves you time, but it saves you stress and it gives you more time to craft. Now this in front of me here, this is a hard drive, okay? Now this was a big one um, in your laptops, in your iPads, there's hard drives in there, they're probably a lot smaller than this, but look at this hard drive as if it was a filing cabinet. Now I've used this metaphor many times. When you go out to your mailbox and grab your mail, typically you bring it in and you throw it on the counter and eventually it piles up. This is exactly what I'm seeing with everyone's download folder. When you visit our website or any other website where you're downloading content, whether it be images or music or SVG files, fonts, whatever it may be, you hit that download button and where does it go? It should go into your downloads folder. And eventually your download folder is gonna look like this. Okay, this is, I found this graphic online, but that's what it looks like. But you've got this amazing filing cabinet here and what do you put inside of a filing cabinet? Well, if you're doing it right, you've got a series of folders in there and every folder is labeled accordingly, whether it be your car insurance, home insurance, a person's health records, whatever it may be, so that you can easily go in there and find what you need without getting frustrated and wasting a bunch of time. So today I wanna to show you how to accomplish that on your computer so that you can better organize pretty much anything, but today we're gonna to focus primarily on SVG files. Okay, so let's say that you were just on our website or any other website where you downloaded SVG files, fonts, photos, ping files, whatever it may be. But in this case, I'm using our website as an example. This is our free SVG file section. There's like 160, over 160 free files. Let's say you went to town and you downloaded or purchased, so to speak. They're all free, but you still have to check out. Uh, let's say that you got 30 or 40 of them. Um, after you check out, you can go under My Account and click on your downloadable products, and you'll see the Download button right here next to each file that you have. Let's say you've got 100 of them. So let's click Download, and what happens? Well, this little window comes up, and well, where did it go? Well, it actually went into your downloads folder. Each time you click to download something, it knows to put it into a download folder. I'm just gonna grab a few more here. I'm just gonna click download. Again, this little window comes up. Okay, and what it's just telling us here is that, well, it's downloading and it's giving us the option to open the file, uh, but we don't wanna do that right now. So I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna open up my file browser, file explorer as it's called. And looking at the file explorer, this is the meat and bones of your filing cabinet, so to speak. What we're gonna actually look at is this PC, okay? And on this PC, you see you have the desktop, you have a folder for documents. Now this is a great place, you can open this up, and let's say you want to create a new folder and call it tax forms or whatever you want to call it just to give you an idea you can keep all of your tax related stuff in the documents folder but for now let's go back to this PC and you'll see that there's also a quick link to your downloads it's also accessible here on the left hand side so let's open that up and you can see here we've got a ton of SVG files from dreaming tree now, one thing I like to do in my download folder before I start organizing is I like to go through and delete things that I know I don't need. You can double click on them to open them, see if it's something you need. And if it's not, just click on it, just like this, and hit delete. Or you can take and you can drag it to your recycle bin, whichever's easier for you. Now, I already have a folder here called Dreaming Tree Files, which is actually what I'm gonna show you here. Okay, so let's say for example, you want to start keeping your SVG files organized. And let's say that you want to organize them by company. Well, what we can do is we can right click on the desktop and click new or just select new and then create a new folder. 
and I'm gonna call this folder SVG files, just so you can understand that you can create a hierarchy of organization. Okay, so I've got SVG files, and of course you get your files from different places. So I'm gonna open up SVG files, and I'm gonna, inside that folder, create a new folder called Dreaming Tree. Okay, and you can go as deep as you want. I would probably not go too deep because then you're gonna be digging through folders. Uh, but I'm gonna call this Dreaming Tree. Okay, and let's open up that folder. So now I'm in the Dreaming Tree folder, which is inside the SVG files folder, which is located on your desktop, okay? So now what you can do, I'm gonna move this window over. On the left-hand side here, I have my Downloads folder, and on the right-hand side, I have my Dreaming Tree folder. Again, you don't want your Downloads folder to just start amassing all sorts of stuff and then trying to sift through that. The whole idea is to occasionally, daily, weekly, whatever it is, go through your downloads and organize them. Okay, so for example, I'm gonna take one of the free SVGs from our site and just bring it over and drop it into the Dreaming Tree folder. Okay, now another option, again, if you want to, and if you don't plan on having too many uh, folders on your computer, you can use the desktop as kind of your file cabinet. Okay, I'm gonna just create a new folder here and I'll call this Dreaming Tree 2. So let's just say that we have a specific folder for Dreaming Tree stuff on the desktop. Again, this can be, uh, I'll create a new folder just to give you an idea. I'll call this Gavin's Science Project. And maybe I'm using that folder to keep all of the content that I found online for his science project, whether it be photos or images or uh, videos, whatever it may be, I can just keep them in that folder and keep them all organized together. Okay, but let's go back into the downloads folder. And what you can also do is by using the control key, if you select one of the files, you can hold down control and then click on any other file and you can see that it not only highlights that one, but it keeps that one highlighted as well. So I can click on anything here and it will continue to highlight them. We're basically making multiple selections. Okay, and then we can take them and drag them into the Dreaming Tree folder. Okay, so that's the Dreaming Tree folder I have on my desktop. If that's how you wanna do it, you can. Now this one here is a subfolder that I created in the SVG files folder. Let me go back to this so I can give you a better understanding of what I'm trying to accomplish here. So I'm gonna create another folder and I'll call it another SVG site, because obviously I don't want to plug any other SVG sites. So, but you can put your favorite SVG websites name in that folder. And anytime you download something from them, you can put it into their folder. So now when you're in Design Space or Silhouette Studio, when you want to bring in an SVG file, you can go to Import or Upload go into your SVG files folder, find the folder of the company's files that you're looking for, and then locate exactly what you need. So you're not sitting there sifting through a bunch of stuff. Now, another cool thing too here is let me open up my, this is the Dreaming Tree folder in the SVG folder. What you can do is if you hold down shift and then click another one, it will select everything in between as well and then you can literally take and drag and drop it into that folder, okay? So there you go. I'm starting to put all of my Dreaming Tree stuff into the Dreaming Tree file located in the SVG files folder. Let me just get the rest of them. So I've highlighted the first one. I'm gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom because I know these are all Dreaming Tree. Hold down Shift, click. It's gonna select everything, and then I can take it and drop it into my Dreaming Tree folder. And now look at that, a nice clean downloads folder. So I can close that now. And remember this other folder that I created here? Again, that was just to show you that you can keep an individual folder on your desktop for a specific website if you want. But I want to keep my stuff nice and organized in the SVG files folder. And this is going under the Dreaming Tree folder. Okay, so there it goes. And I'm gonna delete this folder because I don't need this anymore. And I will show you this one more time just so that everything is absolutely clear. Okay, so again, let me get rid of Gavin's science project. He doesn't have one. So on my desktop now, 
I double click on SVG files and in there I have two folders, one with Dreaming Tree and another folder for any other website that you want to put in here. Okay, and you can keep the content from that website in that folder. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on a Mac computer. I have Safari here in front of me. I'm on the Dreaming Tree website under free SVG files. Again, uh, let's say that you've downloaded, you know, 30, 40, 50 free SVG files. There's over 160 of them. Once you're done, you're going to go under my account and go under downloadable products. And we're just going to hit the download button. And you see what happens on a Mac here. You've got the little uh, Safari icon that just kind of just pops up on your screen. And where does it go? Well, in Safari here, you can click this little button and it'll actually show you the various items that you've downloaded. So let's go ahead and grab a couple more because my downloads folder, as you probably guessed, is nice and clean. So I'm just going to grab a few more here. And what we're going to do is I'll show you first where to find your download folder. So you want to click on your desktop and up at the top here where it says go, you can actually go down to downloads and that'll open up your downloads folder. So that's where you'll find your downloads folder on a Mac. And this is true regardless of if you're using Safari or Chrome or any other browser by default, every browser will download into the downloads folder unless you've changed that. Okay, so here we are. I've got my downloads and just like we did on the PC. So I'm going to click on my desktop and you know that you're looking at your desktop because up in the left hand corner, the top left, it'll say finder. Okay, so that's your desktop. So I'm going to do a file new folder. And as you can see here, it created a new folder called it untitled folder on my desktop. I'm going to select it and hit return and call this SVG files. Whoops. And I'm going to open this up and inside my SVG files, I'm going to go file new folder. I'm going to call this dreaming tree. And then again, you can do another new folder and call it abcsvg.com. It's another website I just made up and then another new folder and call it um, super awesome svgs.com. I don't know. Either way, again, this gives you an idea of how to organize your content. And then on your Mac, I've got my downloads here on the right. I'm going to open up the dreaming tree folder on the left and I can take just like I did on the PC. I can click select and hold down shift, click on that one. It'll select everything in between and I can take and drag and drop them into the dreaming tree folder which just leaves one folder in my downloads folder, which is manageable because I can actually see what's in there. Uh, again, weekly, monthly, every couple months, I would go in and go through your downloads and you can see I've got some stuff in here and there's a lot of stuff that I can just go in and I don't need this anymore. I'm going to delete it. Delete, 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 delete. Uh, I've got maybe this is a photo. So I'm going to take this and put it on my desktop temporarily and I'm going to go into my documents and I'm just going to create a new folder for photos and I'm going to take and organize that into my photos folder. Okay. So you get the idea here. The idea is to keep that downloads folder manageable. If not, if possible, you want to keep it completely empty every time you use your computer so that it's easier to find things in the future. So you get the whole concept here. You don't want your downloads folder to grow into this huge beast of a thing that you can't even manage, that you spend minutes to hours, maybe even looking through to find what you're looking for. Use the file cabinet that is your computer. Use the folders, use the folder structures to help you organize all of your content so that you can stay more organized, which results in more productivity which results in more creativity and more time actually making things with your Cricut or your silhouette instead of looking for things. So that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please take a moment and consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you soon. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and also please consider hitting that subscribe button. 
And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.